What is it now? Oh. All right, g'day viewers. You probably weren't expecting this video on your Friday night. And to be honest, I wasn't expecting it either, but got a pleasant surprise via my emails through the week that uh, the HQ model kit from DDA Collectibles that um, we've been all waiting for for months. I know KC down at Metal Mania and Johnny V uh, Johnny V's custom garage. We've all been stinging for this model to come out. It's finally arrived. I know Casey's got his uh, Thanks to Mrs. PB. I've got mine uh, So I haven't seen it. I haven't even opened the box yet. She's literally just brought it home So I'm gonna open it up see what's in there. It's a pretty big box. I'm, I'm not anyway Less of the patented PB jibber jabber and more of the unboxing and we'll see what we're dealing with All right so I hope you've all had a good week, viewers. Um, I know I have, I can't complain. And this was just a nice little bonus for the week. Yeah, not gonna build today. I think uh, KC and some of the other boys have got one of these on order. Uh, oh, oh geez, it's a massive box. Okay, now order this from Hearns Hobbies in Melbourne. That's sick. All right, hang on, viewers. Check that out. It's like in a proper big box. They've sent me some gold Haribo bears. How good's that? <laughs> We're not going to eat them at the moment because, you know, I've heard some terrible rumours about Haribo bears. This isn't a box like your regular model kit boxes, you know, like what we're all, you know, your standard sort of square ones. It's more like a... Anyway, I know you're all stinging to see what's in here. So am I. Alright, hang on. Now... Okay. Oh, it's hinged. Okay. Ooh, this is a bit flash. I don't know if you can... I'll, I'll do some still shots at the end. I think it looks like the boot comes off it too. Okay, now I've got the standard Kingswood model, so it's got an inline six. Um... I'll just kind of flick through. The... Oh, yeah, the because the boot. Okay, now so that's cool. Um, it's obviously based on DDA's diecast vehicle, uh, which is fine because that's a really sick model. Here's this open. This is where you're going to start laughing at me. Crumbs. Early dearly. All right, viewers. Switch me air compressor off. We'll go through these parts bags and I'll lay them out so you can have a look. All right. So first up. Little bag, two screws, heap of other little screws, metal axles. They give you a little screwdriver and some tweezers. It must be maybe that's a hood hinge a little thin wire thing there uh, this must be the decals in there it's some little reflectors for the um, I guess the mirrors in the rear view mirror that's pretty cool we've got the clear tree the first thing I've noticed here is it doesn't look like there's any chrome plated stuff so they're obviously gearing it towards the modeler that can take care of that kind of gear um, We've got our taillights, headlights, and glass. Nice and clear. Headlights. Indicators. That's good. But I mean, bit of, you know, to me, a clear red and orange will fix those indicators up. We've got, here, we've got 
a rear bench seat. Looks like a hinge, maybe for the bonnet or something. Got a dash. Like the little, I mean, I guess they make it different for the GTS, so although I thought they were fairly similar. Your steering wheel there. All right, we've got a set of hubcaps. Now, HQ hubcaps are, you know, chrome with different colored rings on them and they usually have the line in the middle. Now that little tiny decal sheet doesn't look like it has those, but we could probably make them. Uh, we got inserts that look like they're for the disc, for the brakes. Now, you're not gonna be able to see them on the wheel and I don't know any HQ that had four wheel disc brakes, but anyway. Uh, the grill molded open and, and nicely molded too. Um, the bumpers, there you go, plain plastic. You're gonna have to chrome them yourself, dudes, and do that. Uh, what I'm assuming are door handles, maybe, which is neat. You can get them all chromed up and, and stick them in separate. You don't have to, you know, headlight buckets, you can chrome them separate. Um, your wiper blades and wheels, they look like the uh, Mobius wheels, you know, they've got these big things for the tyres to really chunk over. Oh, now we've got our six banger 202, I'm assuming, uh, our aircon, or like our, you know, the blower unit. Uh, the rocker cover's fallen off and sitting inside that engine bay. And definitely, like, you can see it's made from the, you know, the die cast moulds. But that does not matter because it looks awesome. Everything looks nicely moulded. Uh, and plenty of, you know, opportunities for extra detailing. And as I, I myself have found out lately, 3D printing, if there's something that wasn't in here, you could probably make it yourself. Uh, underneath suspension, fuel tank separate. So that makes it easy to paint, that's awesome. Get our base, we've got our boot insert. And that's awesome that the boot's separate and everything. Like, I didn't know that. Got DDA there. Oh man, this is gonna, this is, I'm going to say better than I expected because I wasn't really sure what I was expecting. There's our boot lid. The door inserts with, you know, you can detail them right up. They're like really prominent. HQ bonnet. I'm not... Did the HQ bonnet have that... Oh, I don't know. I know Matthew... Matthew and Laidley is yelling at the TV at the moment saying, yes, that had that on there. Anyway, sorry, Matthew. We've got five rubber tires. Oh, so there's a spare for the boot. We've got our bench. They should have just painted them brown, just save everyone the grief. I do notice that's got a little bit of a tweak to it. Like it's a, like a little bit of a bend, but that's no biggie. Looks like a, you know, center console thing. Got some rubber hoses. Or spark plug. Oh yeah, there's a dizzy. With the spark plug leads. A couple have come off there. I don't know if that's going to be a problem, but that's right. It's part of the fun and challenge of modeling, right, viewers? All right, and here's the last part that now you're all stinging to see. Oh, look, the box bag's open. I'm going to take it out. HQ body. Have a look at that. It looks pretty good for my eyes. It's gonna need a little bit of cleaning up. You can see where they, you can see like a block off plate there where they change it for the GTS Monaro model with the flutes. That's okay, bit of sanding, bit of primer. It'll be sweet. The rear indicators, um, looks like the glass drops in from the outside, which is really good. Man, I can see myself having to go inside and order a couple more of these. They're like, I didn't want to order two, you know, because in case. 
but it's sick. And I don't know if anyone from DDA Models has actually gotten onto this video, but it's been worth the wait by the look of it. Another little aerial buzzer. Probably 3D printer. Esky for the boot. I've got a plan for mine. I've got an idea for mine. But you'll get to see that in the full build video. There's something else. Oh, check this out. It's like a cardboard little, you know, display diorama, like from the, you know, the vintage GMH advertising, I think that is. Ha! Huh. That's sick. All right. You've done an awesome job. It's been worth the wait. The box itself is like, I'll put some still shots at the end of that. Super pleased. It's awesome. So in Australia, model kits can be, you know, 70 or 80 bucks. That's for some of the outdated molds of some of the other big manufacturers. And this is a new mold. It's nice and clean. And I got this, I ordered it from Hearns Hobbies. I'll put a link in the description for 69 bucks plus about 10 bucks postage. And that's Australian dollars overseas viewers. So you could probably get this shipped to you for not a terrible amount of money. And it looks like a really lovely kit. And if we get behind manufacturers who take a punt on these sorts of things in plastic, you know, they're encouraged to make some other things. And we may soon get that Valiant Charger model kit that we're all waiting for. Well, I'm waiting for, but anyway. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you very much to DDA Collectibles for bringing this out. And I'm so looking forward to getting hooked into it. It's going to be great. We'll do a group build with uh, KC and Johnny V. And hopefully we'll have some others on board too. Uh, but we'll talk about that again down the track. Have a great weekend, everybody. Thanks for watching my little extra video. And I'll see you next week for something else. Bye.